Hey guys, what's going on? It's Majin Bay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got bans. <laughs> we got bans today. Uh, I went over it over on stream. So if you want to see my uh, actual reaction, like my real time reaction, uh, you can go check it out on my uh, Twitch channel. But I figured I'd come over here and talk about it because I know a lot of people are going to be talking about it. And it's really, really, really important. Uh, the first thing is let's just get this out of the way. Uh, Kano got hit. Kano got hit hard. Uh, both tomes that Kano plays, Tome of Aetherwind and Tome of Fendal, are hit. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means that Kano loses a lot of his oomph. His uh, Kill You From Anywhere power is uh, severely tampered down. And I don't think that's really a bad thing. The issue, the issue is that stacking Kano, which they said they actually like. Examples include Viscerai, Florian, OTK, blah, blah, blah. Or a Kano player completing and memorizing their pitch deck or many turns. This game plan requires the tomes in order to get the resources and needed to execute a stacking plan. Especially because Oasis Respite absolutely curb stomps Kano now. Without access to uh, tomes in the stacking plan. Like if a deck wants to play AB3, 3 three oasis you used to just stack them um but now if you try to stack ab3 three oasis they'll just hold on to two oasis and you'll never kill them <laughs> you won't do enough damage so you have to tempo them out but oasis is very very strong against the tempo plane of kano so it's gonna be really interesting um it's a it's a pretty big hit to the deck we're gonna get a little bit more into it later uh let's talk about the other cards artivore bonds cash in orion tome of divinity and tome of firebrand so basically everything that draws cards uh it's really good that all these cards are getting banned in my honest opinion uh flesh and blood over the last like little bit of time here has been more and more about and they talk about this in the article it's a really good article i highly recommend you read it um they talk more and more about how the game has become finding an overwhelming offensive advantage off the back of cards like art of war and things like that um and that they don't want that to be the case anymore they want flesh and blood to go a little bit back to the um, or go back more towards the like grinding out small advantages over a long game, uh, which I really prefer. I do really, really like that kind of flesh and blood. The sad part is that it takes away from the really, really cool stuff you could do, right? Like drawing cards is really fun. Big splashy effects is really, really fun. Casting three copies of Bonds' Vantistry is really fun for one of the people playing the game. <laughs> uh, Kano hitting a tome off the top when he needs it is, is really fun for me. And those are going to be gone. Now, they're going to be live in Living Legend, and if uh, LSS plans to continue giving Living Legend tournaments and stuff, then that's great, because this is the kind of gameplay I want in Living Legend. I want, like, crazy combos. I want cool shit, right? I want to put tomes in my Kano deck in Living Legend. Um, and then in CC, if we have the more toned down, more, like, I don't want to say serious, but, like, uh, a little bit more less swingy, right less volatile flesh and blood i'm totally okay with that especially because um me and so many other people treat flesh and blood as like a competitive game closer to like chess right than like magic the gathering would be or something similar it's nice to have the lower volatility the lower amount of um luck and rng deciding games i want the best player to win the majority of times in flesh and blood not every time but the majority of times um, and I think a lot of these cards move away from that, especially cards, you know, like Tomo Divinity, honestly, Tomo Divinity, let's be honest, uh, Art of War Bonds, right? They're just like so, so swingy that a lot of heroes game plans were just, I wait till I hit these things and then I kill my opponent and there's nothing they can do to stop it. So honestly, even though my deck gets hit really, really, really hard, I'm happy about this. I'm happy about the bans. Um, and I think Kano will be fine. Um, with the Rosetta cards, like just the Rosetta cards that have been spoiled, uh, let's pull up some of them right now, like, um, overflow the Aether well, right? All the new blues and everything. Um, the deck gets better. And I was thinking Kano was going to be like a high S tier deck at the end of all of this after Rosetta released, um, with the bands, it brings him back down, right? It brings him back down to earth. Where exactly does it bring him? I'm going to be honest, I think he's still going to be an A-tier deck. I think you're going to have to play mostly Tempo Kano, almost exclusively Tempo Kano, which happens to be my favorite way to play the deck. <laughs> um, so stacking might be gone. Um, you lose a lot of points against people who show up to beat you, right? Like decks that just want to pack three Oasis or like AB3 Spellvoid 2, like it's going to be tough. It's going to be really difficult. And what I'm really worried about is matchups like Enigma. Matchups where you really needed small stack packages 
uh, little stack pockets, I like to call them, with like a Tome of Aether Wind, double blue, red, red, right? Uh, in order to get over the top, it's going to be really difficult now because you just won't be able to do that anymore. I'm not sure how you actually beat Enigma <laughs> anymore as Kano. Uh, I'll have to get in the lab and figure it out. I'm going to have to get in the lab and really figure out a lot of things with Kano. And we have new wizards coming. And there's a lot of things that are still kind of up in the air with the bands. Uh, and honestly, the emotion I'm feeling the most right now is excitement about it and i bet that's not what you guys expected when you clicked on this video but um i don't know i've kindle was really exciting for me for kano because i got to uh you know we we got to actually like brew with kano a bit we get to figure out a new way to play the deck that i love so much and that was really fun uh and i wanted more of that and now i get to do it again right yeah i lose tomes and they're like my favorite cards in the deck Besides gaze the ages, uh, but it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be fun to like figure out. Okay, how how in the world do I beat this matchup now? Right, like time to find some new tech. Time to find some some new stuff. And we have a lot of new toys to play with. With Rosetta coming out, um, maybe some of the sigils are good. Who knows? Like uh, it'll be it'll be really fun to try out. I'm just so excited for a Worlds tournament that is going to be so up in the air. Right, like I don't think I don't think anybody at this moment can guess what is going to be like the top deck in Rosetta, right? Like we, we, we just have no idea. Uh, and I think that's, I think that's going to be so fun. It's going to make this pro quest season, like really, really interesting. And it's going to make the world's tournament so much more. Um, I, I think fun to watch for a lot of people, fun to play in for me. Uh, so honestly, I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to be cooking up some Kano stuff. I'm probably not going to post any kind of deck list on anything until after the um, until after the world premiere. So we have all the Rosetta cards because I need to know. Okay, tomes are gone. What do we have? What are what are my options? And then I'm gonna be cooking. Um, I did open up a Patreon. I've been talking about this a little bit in my YouTube videos, but I'm gonna put the link in the description. Uh, it's a Patreon based on very competitive educational content geared mostly towards wizards. So right now just Kano, but it will be the other wizards when they come out. Um, and if you want to see firsthand like what my cooking gives me how i think you should start playing kano from now um i would join the patreon keep an eye on it because that's where it's that's where the info is going to go first eventually it'll probably make its way down to youtube but um if you want to be like if you want to be the first to know in time for your pro quests and everything what i think you should be doing with the wizards patreon's the way to go anyway thank you guys so much for coming let me know in the comments what you think about the bands uh all the katsu players give me like an f in the comments you know i'm sorry guys that you had to die for zen sins that really sucks um but i'm i'm excited for flesh and blood moving forward i'm, I'm really looking forward to it see you guys next time